I thought I'd be the only one. All right, so uh, I don't know how this thing, okay, there it is. So I'm, okay, no, no. There you go. Woo! So uh, I'm sure you guys heard him introduce me as Marcia. You know, most people don't believe it, but that's actually my real name. And uh, and I like my name, you know, I think it's pretty cool. Um, the only problem with my name, though, I think it's it's not simple enough for most people. You know, like people hear a name like John, you know, and, the jo and they, they wait for John to walk in the room before they judge him. You know, John walks in, they're like, okay, no, he looks like a John, right? But with Marcia, People already have this notion of what they think I'm supposed to look like, you know. So I walk in, I can always tell because they're like, "You're, you're Marcia," <laughs> and I'm like, "No, yeah, really. Like, what's the, no, no, no problem. Just come right this way." And uh, and you can tell they're expecting some hot Latina, you know, with long curly hair, you know. And she's she's sexy because she hasn't had kids yet, <laughs> right? <laughs> and um, she can't even say her name right, you know, me amo Marcia. It's like, <laughs> Like, I get so upset, you know, because she's not even real, and I already hate her. <laughs> and uh, I feel like America, though, America would be willing to settle for Marsha, right? Like, Marsha is this petite, strawberry blonde. You know, she's 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 got dimples on her cheeks. She's real pretty. She's a little chunky, but she swallows, so it's fine. Right? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. anyway, we love her. and no one knows why she's always so fucking jolly. It's like, really, Marsha, 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 calm down. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, because of that though, like, I used to want to be skinny because I thought, you know, maybe then my body would match my name, but fuck that. Like, I'm so over that phase and I couldn't do it anymore because you can't talk to anyone about wanting to lose weight. You know, you ever mention that you're going on a diet and people start treating you like you're an addict recovering, you know, like you're a recovering addict from like the, what, the AA 12 step program. It's like they're almost scared to talk about food in front of you because they're scared you're gonna relapse or something. Like, it's like seriously? And it's like, I find that people keep secrets from me. You know, like I find, I'm, I hate like I'm always apologizing to you every time I eat. It's like, no, no, no guys, like I swear it's my cheat month. <laughs> like, oh no, it's my first meal in like three years, so it's fine. <laughs> But um, but you can't do that. If you're like me, though, by the time you get to the end of this diet, you're just like, fuck it, bacon's delicious. <laughs> but uh, yeah, woo, bacon. <laughs> but um, but if you are really serious about you know trying to lose weight, I find that um, it helps to have a good support system. Like my friends were always there for me. You know, whenever I would talk about, I never actually went on these diets, but whenever I would talk about going on all these crazy diets, you know, my friends would always. Do, they do it for me, you know, and I thought that was real sweet of them. You know, I noticed like we'd go out to restaurants and um, they would order healthy food. It's like really you have to be an asshole, but um, but I God bless them because I think um, I think they were doing it for me. You know, like uh, they were trying to encourage me to uh, to get new friends, right? <laughs> yeah, I can't say it didn't work. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life, right? <laughs> but. Uh, but no, I, uh, I actually, I think it worked one time. Like, I, uh, I ordered a salad when we went out. Yeah, I know. But uh, it was out of Chili's, you know, I was, you know, binge drinking at the bar like I do every night. And, uh, and this lady next to me, she was eating a salad. And, uh, and I got to talking to her and uh, she had a bunch of stuff in her salad. Like, it actually looked really, really good. Right? So I started talking to her and she even had bacon on there, which I had no idea was an option for salads. So I was like, okay, I could do this, you know, I could totally do this, there's bacon in there. So I decided I'm gonna order a salad, but, um, but she had nuts on hers and I have allergies. So of course when I ordered my salad, I had them leave off the lettuce. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was pretty good. The fries, the fries were a little stale though. So maybe, maybe don't order fries from Chili's is the moral of that story. <laughs> but, um, but I'm fine with the way I look now though, I love it. Woo. Um, uh, I met some really sweet, um, are there any black guys in here tonight? I see yeah. them. Okay, just y'all. Really? Not, not too high, we don't want to scare people off. Uh, oh, where's, the, where's the rest of them? Is there like a rap concert or something in town? <laughs> but, uh, but no, like I met some really, I met some really sweet black guys. I mean, they made me appreciate my body. You know, they made me feel really good about this little package, well, this thing that I'm trying to hide back here. But this, this little package that I'm pulling, you know, they made me appreciate my body. Like if I ever was in a room with any black guy and I said, oh my God, I feel so fat. Here he comes, it was like clockwork every time. It's like, did you say fat? You mean fat like P-H-A-T? <laughs> but nah, mama, look mama, look mama. You, wait, wait, back up. What? Why, why is it, like, let's, let's address this with, all, with the black guys that I see in here, let's address this. Why is it that every woman is either your mother or your child? Really, like every time I met a black guy that didn't know my name, it was
was either, what up, mama? How you doing, mama? Or my least favorite, how you doing, baby? <laughs> like, like, what's up with that? Seriously, like, learn my name. But, but no, this, this guy looks at me and he's just like, no, mama, look, mama, look, mama, look, mama. You ain't fat, you ain't fat, you just thick. And I was like, really, is that a thing? Like, like really? And he's like, no, nah, listen, you ain't gotta lose a pound, mama, you just thick. And I was like, okay. I'm just, I'm just thick, guys. <laughs> Didn't work on my doctor, though. <laughs> yeah, he's still, he's still set on me going on this diet. So, uh, so I gotta try to lose a few pounds soon. But uh, speaking of pounds, oh, that was a great segue. I didn't plan that. Um, I, <laughs> I traveled to Europe recently. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so uh, I went to, I went to London. Um, I was, uh, it was fun. It was a little sketchy though, but it was fun. I was at the airport and uh, I still had about $200 on me that I needed to convert. And so I ran into some guy at the airport that told me he could do my, do my currency exchange for free. So I thought, what the hey? So I handed him my 200 bucks and he hands me back like 50 pounds and a peppermint. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I started asking questions and he's looking at me like I'm this obnoxious American. So I was like, okay, screw it. I bet this peppermint's worth like 150 pounds. <laughs> so, uh, so I take my money and I'm walking out, but something still doesn't feel right. So I decide I'm gonna ask the security guard on my way out. So I start talking to the security guard and um, after a while and me explaining the situation, he pretty much is like, yeah, no, you just got robbed. <laughs> and I was like, really? Like, what are the odds that I get robbed in an airport? I mean, and the security guard was getting mad at me. Like with all the new technology we have these days, he could have been like a walking kiosk or something. Like how was I supposed to know that barefoot isn't the new London fad? <laughs> you know, like seriously. So I decided, screw it, I'm so furious. I'm gonna find this guy, get my money back. So I'm trying to look for this guy and I got to thinking, I mean, here's a guy with no regard for authority. I mean, he's stealing in plain sight High security area. I mean, you're at the airport for crying out loud. There's tons of cameras all over the place. You're taking such a great risk, right? And I was like, who would do such a thing? You know, so I find this guy and oh God, I was pissed. I did what any black woman in my situation would do. I, uh, I gave him my phone number. <laughs> there, there is just something sexy about a hustler, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> Seriously, I mean, think about it. Like, so, okay, some of you guys are judging me right now, but here's, here's why I did it. Okay, you gotta try to make the best of every situation. You know, try to see the best in people, especially when you're getting older like myself. Like, you start worrying about things like long-term stability. And, uh, and I got to thinking like, you know, a guy like that, he's a provider, right? Great, great, great quality in a husband. Right, ladies? And, and fellas, I think I speak for every woman in this room when I say that. We just want to know that if we were ever in a bind as a couple, you would be willing to rob a few tourists to keep the lights on. That's it. That's all. That's it, right? Yeah. Like, like I know for a fact, you know, I would never go hungry with a guy like that around, right? Well, let's be honest, I would never go hungry. <laughs> but on that note, me amo Marcia, pero I have to get out of here. So thank you guys so much.